Guitar Collector Guy presents Easy Drilling of Tuner Penholes. I'm starting a project where I'm assembling kind of a more advanced build on a, um, a Telecaster style guitar. And I've got a lot of the um, modern Fender tuners with the two pens. And, you know, because I've over the years replaced quite a bit with uh, locking tuners and I wanted to use them. And uh, I did a lot of looking around and I found that there were three or four different companies that made jigs for actually drilling these um, in the headstock. And I settled on um, g -Tech. and g -Tech makes um, basically a unit that will not only do the types of tuners that I want to do, but also like six other types of tuners that have pens. And so it's kind of a good investment to have around and it's a very well made little product and it runs about $49. You can find it on eBay and Reverb. Um, and I tried to find a website actually for the company and I, I couldn't. And so, um, so I, so the unit's easy enough to use. You basically install a, a kind of a, a tuner loosely at one end and then the jig at the other end, and then you use a straight uh, ruler to kind of make sure that they're, um, you know, in alignment with each other. Um, I read the instructions, and the instructions actually says, hand drill the pen holes to the preset, including following the guide holes in the jig. Do not use a power drill. And I took that as that you're supposed to take these little drill things that they give you with the pre-measured depth and you're supposed to hand turn them like I'm doing here. Well, I got through drilling, you know, the holes for basically two tuners and my um, fingers were starting to become raw and I was finding it more and more difficult to uh, basically do. And I did actually go out and I found pictures on Reverb and on eBay that this company had put out there, and they're actually using a power drill. So I decided um, about, you know, two tuners in to take the little drill bits um, and actually put them in my hand drill. And I was just really careful about how I did it from their point forward. And it, it actually worked really well. I mean, it was, um, and it's the how I will do it um, from this point forward. But you you kind of as you're doing this you you install one tuner and then you kind of swap at the other end putting the jig in place and then you do you drill the holes for there and then you put a tuner there and then you just start kind of you know using a straight edge kind of walking um, back through the different holes drilling out and um and then inserting the tuning pegs um, I, I do say it is really, really nice, the little drilling, you know, the drill bits that they give you, because not only are they the proper size and the, uh, tuning pegs just literally just fit right in. Um, but they're also, they, they have the steel or aluminum little sleeve on them where you can't drill any deeper than what you're actually supposed to. So it's already pre-measured and it takes all of kind of the, the guesswork out of it. And, um, so I went ahead and did this, um, on this, uh, neck that I'm preparing for this build and it, uh, it worked great. Um, it took me about 10, 15 minutes to do the whole thing. And I was able to, uh, basically install all the tuners and it looks like a, a professional job from the factory. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify. Thank you for watching Guitar Collector Guy. Um, really appreciate you being here. Hope you come back and watch more.